Hello everyone, um, apologies for the, the mess behind me, I'm in the, the staff room and the angle with the lighting's terrible so, um, and that noise isn't me farting, it's my chair. Um, basically I thought I'd do a little video because I've been quite quiet in terms of my opinion and stuff on um, Legendary, um, obviously we've had the album cover come out, we've had the track list come out, we've had you know leaks of who may be co-writing certain songs. We've had um, obviously the premiere to thank you good night. So there's been quite a lot going on in in the last week. Um, I thought what I'd do is I'll leave it a couple of days and then give my opinion on it. I've listened to everyone's. So I've, I've retweeted most stuff. I've liked most stuff. Whether it's good news, bad news, uh, good reviews, bad reviews, whatever. I've I've certainly done a lot of um, kind of giving feedback from other people so uh, even on Jovi Talk I've not really given uh, my opinion on the, the actual forum itself so I thought what I'll do is I'll, I'll wait a couple of days you know over the weekend and stuff like that give it a couple of listens and and um, I'll tell you what I think about Legendary so I'm, I'm gonna go as I said I'm gonna speak about all the, the other news but I'll go with Legendary first so I think it was um, <clears throat> Thursday when we got it, I think it was, uh, when we got the, the song um, and the music video. And, you know, obviously we did the, the, the band performing at Music Case, and I, I, I'll be honest, I quite liked it. Um, I thought it sounded it sounded okay. And then we heard one or two different snippets. I think one was, um, I can't even remember where the snippets were, in all honesty. We got two, we, I know we got two different versions of snippets, though. So I think one was behind. A video of some kind. I, I honestly can't even remember. Um, but yeah, I, I'm, when I heard them, I, I wasn't overly impressed. I thought it sounded very robotic. I thought it sounded very something that should have been on What About Now, where the production really, really wasn't good. Um, in my opinion, anyway. That obviously this is all my opinion. Everyone has different opinions. Um, and then yeah, we got to hear it on Thursday, and I, again, I just wasn't, I wasn't impressed. Um, I'm not saying it's a bad song; it's definitely not a bad song, and I probably should change my opinion of what to expect. It's it's mad because I I know what to expect, but I still I'm still praying that we we get something different. I'm really hoping that we get something different that'll shock us. Um, and yeah, it's just to me, it's limitless mixed with because we can. Um, mixed with one or two other songs, it's it's just not it's just not my cup of tea. As I said, I've listened to it. I, I reckon I've listened to it now maybe six or seven times. I've watched the video twice. I uh, really don't like the video. I just don't get it. I think it looks. I think it makes the song sound worse as well because the song, in my opinion, sounds very robotic and overproduced. Um, the video being so over the top and. Uh, like AI and stuff like that. Um, I actually think it makes the video sound. It makes the song even worse. Um, at one point, Arthur John's head goes missing. That that's how bad that the video is. If you look at it, I'll have to try and find the, the specific part. But I found it on the first time I watched it. And I went back and I was like, it's actually chopped off his head off. Um, obviously with the green screen or whatever it is that they're using. So yeah, um, not too keen. I think it's catchy enough. You know, Bon Jovi don't, uh, you know, uh, there's not many songs that Bon Jovi don't write that's, you know, certainly for singles and it's not catchy. Um, that's obviously always a good thing because to somebody who might be getting just into the band or hear it on the radio or whatever, that's great. Uh, I think for the diehard fans and the ones who obviously have been around for a long time, majority of us aren't too keen on it. Um, but uh, do you know what, the, in all honesty, the, the, the feedback and the, the reviews and stuff from a lot of fans on Bon Jovi Talk has been good. Obviously, there's been a fair few that have also said they are impressed, and that's fine. I said I, I, I'm, I'm with them on that. Um, if I was to rate the song out of 10, I'd probably give it a, a 5 max, 4.5, 5, something like that. Um, yeah, to me, it would fit on what about now. It's just got the same production, and you can tell it's Shanks who's producing it. I actually think John's voice on the first line, the opening line, sounds very good. And then the second line... Um, it, it doesn't sound good. It, it sounds like he did on you know the the 2020 well 2022 tour, and it sounds like he did on that album where the tone just isn't great. 
Um, and then for the rest of it, he's not bad, but there's a certain line, I think it's the second line of the song, where it just doesn't sound too good, and it kind of makes you go, come on, like, the first line, he sounds all right, but, yeah. Um, so that's that's my review on Legendary. Uh, obviously, I'm going to get people saying, oh, I'm negative again, and whatever. It's just not my cup of tea, and there's nothing wrong with that. Doesn't mean I'm not going to listen to the new album. Doesn't mean I'm not going to post stuff. Doesn't mean I'm not excited for the new album. I'm probably, even after that, after we got to hear it, I, I'm still more excited than ever for the for the album. So I don't take too much into it when a lead single comes out anyway. There hasn't been one really since, apart from Saturday Night Game Me Sunday Morning, which I, I quite liked. And I don't mind this house not for sale at all, to be fair. But because we can't, we weren't born to follow, Limitless, you know, that, them songs, they've never impressed me. Make a Memory wasn't a lead single for me. Should have been released, it's a great song, but it shouldn't have been a lead single. Um, so the last one was probably Have a Nice Day, where I thought that's a great song. Um, so yeah, I don't get, I don't get overly excited anyway. I'm not, you know, I, I'm hopeful. I still really want them to bring out a fantastic song, but it is what it is. I'm not gonna cry about it. So yeah, that's my review on it. Um, on the same day that the song and that come out, we also got the album cover. I think the album cover is fantastic. I made up with it. Um, I made up with the album title. I think Bon Jovi Forever's brilliant um it should have been you know a title before especially with all the t-shirts that they've done a while back um so i made up of it i think it's good i think the album cover would have been even better if they zoomed in on john's jacket i never had john on it um that's nothing against john i just think i was saying to to one of my mates that i was in a record shop the other week and on the shelf was a new jersey like 12 inch uh, lp and i just thought that's such a good album cover and because we had all the talk of Bon Jovi forever and obviously John the Jacket. I actually said to, to my friend Jimmy, who, who was on the podcast a few weeks back, that would be a brilliant album cover. And we were so close to getting it, but uh, I'll definitely take th this album cover. I think it's very good. It's the third one that's black and white, which is a bit, you know, this house not for sale was black and white in 2020 was black and white, and now this is, but this is by far the best album cover in a, in a while, in my opinion. Um, I'm, I'm really happy with it. It sounds daft and I'm happy about an album cover, but I love stuff like that. Um, I'm not going to lie, I do. So, yeah. Um, then we obviously got the track list. I think there's only one song that's over five minutes. Um, we got to hear some of Hollow Man the other day. Uh, someone kindly recorded it from that TV show that was in America. And obviously you could hear, you know, whatever was going on on that show. Um, but it sounded okay. It, it definitely sounded okay. The only, my only concern is Legendary shouldn't be an album opener. Um, I obviously haven't heard the rest, but it, it, listening to it, I'd go, nah, I don't want that as an album opener. And listening to Hollow Man, I don't want that as an album closer. And that's unfortunately what the two are. But I'm not going to be too negative in that sense where, you know, it might work. It might flow and work perfectly. If I heard Lane to Love for the first time now, I'd say that wasn't an album closer, but I absolutely love it as an album closer. Don't know whether many people do, but that, that's my opinion. Um, we got the songwriting credits, apparently. Um, and on, is it Living in Paradise or something like that? Can't remember. Um, apparently, I cheered into one of the co-writers on it. There's people who are absolutely buzzing over it. There's people who are absolutely slaying it. In all honesty, I couldn't care less. As long as the song's good, I really couldn't care less who's on it, um, who writes it, it you know. It, it genuinely doesn't bother me. I, I wouldn't even get excited if it was one of my favourite singers writing it because it, it might be awful. Um, as long as the song's good, I honestly don't care. Um, so that that's my my thoughts on that. If if it's a good song, fantastic. I'm sure Ed Sheeran writes great songs. Um, he's not my cup of tea. Uh, but yeah, that's my opinion on that as well. I, I'm not that bothered about that. As long as the song's good, whoever writes it, so be it. Um, then yeah, we got the premiere to Thank You Good Night. So obviously the band got to see it, and there was a lot of media coverage over in America. Um, so I'm excited. I'm really excited for it. Uh, we got a longer trailer a couple of weeks back, and I think it looks brilliant. The trailer, I really do. Um, I'm hoping. I'm hoping certainly the last episode or two it goes really in depth because I imagine in the early eighties. And 90s there's not much that we don't already know but certainly the last 10 15 years or so the band are quite personal and obviously richie leaving and uh, john's vocal issues and stuff they're the they're the parts that i'm most look looking forward to i'll be honest um so yeah i'm excited 
for, for the for the documentary it's only a month and a bit away now so really excited for that um, I think obviously by the time the album comes out June the 7th I think we'll get one maybe two at a push but I think we'll definitely get one more single um, unfortunately it doesn't look like Legendary's doing too well in the charts certainly in the UK it was 91 midweek which obviously I'm fully expecting that to be out the top 100 by uh, Friday when the charts are official um, again no surprise I was hoping. I think the promotion's been okay on this, but there's not really been much in terms of like TV shows for the band. And there's not, apart from London a couple of weeks ago, there's no posters or billboards or anything. Which I'm kind of hoping in the next couple of weeks we'll start to see some, because um, I do think there'll be a big push for this. But yeah, <coughs> excuse me. They're my thoughts on Legendary. My thoughts on the album cover. Um, and yeah, I mean, I, I'm still more excited than ever. I really am. June the 7th can't come quick enough. Nothing excites me more than a Bon Jovi album. Um, and one thing that's a positive is, um, if you still want to see them, obviously, is the, the band put on their, their website. If you pre order the album, you get early access to the yet to be announced and upcoming tour. And it looks like, you know, Hugh McDonald said at the premiere the other day, 2025 is when the tour will be. Um, there's rumours that there's going to be a promo show or two in the summer. Which would be nice. Um, I'd love something like the This House and Off for Sale promo shows, little intimate venue like the London Palladium or something like that. I really enjoyed that show. It was nice to see them in a, a smaller setting. So yeah, that, that's my thoughts. Um, as I said I've been quite quiet in terms of my opinion on stuff, only because I really stay to limitless and I still can't stand it. Um, but I got obviously all kinds of people going blah 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 about it. Um, so though you know what I'll be patient I'll give it a couple of listens it's definitely nowhere near as bad as Limitless um, and it's definitely it's better than Because We Can but it's still not great it's still you know the production's poor there's no guitar John sounds okay um, but it just sounds like one big mess with even John sounds a little bit drowned in it um, so I'm hoping the rest of the album's not like that but do you know what I did like I, I like the small little snippets that we got on the Bon Jovi Forever advertisement that the band put up just before the song came out so who knows I'm still excited as I said and you know people can slate me for saying that I, I don't like the song and feel free to I'm not really bothered but it is what it is if I don't like something I'll say it and as I said I've gave it a little bit more time than I did last time and yeah it's just not for me uh, but hopefully we get more we get more news you know I still want more backstage with Bon Jovi stuff that's kind of gone a little bit quiet considering there was meant to be something every month hopefully we'll get something this month um, and yeah let, let me know your thoughts uh, the podcasts are going to be up and running a little bit a bit more again um, I've got one or two people associated with the documentary yet to come on I've got one or two people excuse me uh, associated with um, the bar in Nashville so you know it's it's nice and then obviously i've got the my friends and stuff like that who have been on it before who want to jump on again and speak about all the news that i'm kind of giving you now so yeah fingers crossed we get more info hopefully the album's good i'm sure i'll speak to people and do more of these before we get it but yeah fingers crossed uh we keep getting info it's been a great couple of months i think being a bon jovi fan we've had a lot of news it's good to see the band doing promo stuff and doing interviews and looking really healthy I think John looks great at the moment especially with his haircuts and that's not me taking the mick either I actually think he looks he looks really good lately I think he's obviously uh, a lot less stressed he's probably excited he's probably got that way you know that driving force again in him so it's good to see um, and yeah I'll, I'll wrap this up and hopefully um, there'll be more more to chat about soon thanks everyone don't forget to like and subscribe and share it